Hey everybody, Ronnie Petito with Petito's Performance Training Center and today I'm going to be talking to you about protein, whey protein in specific and how it actually reacts with our bodies. I'm sure everybody by now, or at least everybody should know, that protein is the basic building blocks of our muscles, right? We need to intake protein, the correct amount of protein, all with all the essential amino acids, the complete protein in order for our muscles to build as much as we want them to, right? In, in order to see the gains. But which protein should we take? Okay, when we're talking about whey protein, there's three different types of protein that I'm going to talk about today in that whey category that you know are sold everywhere. And you can get them anywhere, and a lot of people have an issue of which one do I take, what's good for me, what's not. And it's actually a very good question because we should understand what we're putting in our bodies. So let's go over it a little bit. Now, but let's just talk, before I get into the actual protein, let's talk about milk, like how milk's broken down, because whey is a component of milk, right? Milk has... You have curds and whey, so whey is the liquid portion, so we're pulling this out. And in order to get to these stages, we have to kind of purify it, and through the purification process, it kind of breaks down, and it turns into different things, where they have different names, and it turns into different types of proteins that actually have different capabilities and abilities, and some are better for you, some are worse for you, really depend on your goals and where you're at. So, the first one is concentrate. Concentrate, what's going on with that? So protein by weight, when you're intaking concentrate, concentrate is the first purification process, and it's basically just taking out all the impurities. That's about it. Everything else is still put into this protein. You still got carbs, you still got sugars, you still got fats, and some important subfractions as well. So when we look at a protein by weight, you know, you could have anywhere from 35% to 80% protein per weight. So what I mean by that is, which isn't that great, obviously. What I mean by that is, let's say I only had 50% of protein in that scoop I took by weight, and it was a 30 gram scoop. That means I only got 15 grams of protein in that scoop. So if we're looking for more protein, we might need to take more of that or go to something else. So we have to understand these little things like that. Now the absorption rate of these things are a little bit slower since they do have different things in them, right? They have the carbs, they have the sugars, they have the fats, and they have different subfractions that our body has to break down. And takes a little bit, a little bit longer than you know just protein. Would. So absorption is going to be a slower rate of absorption, slower than all these other types of proteins right here on the board. Now our subfractions. Because it is only the first purification process, we're going to retain a high amount, a high percentage of our subfractions. And subfractions such as lactoferrin and things like that. And what some of these do, they have very good immune boosting properties and things like that. Problem that a lot of people have with concentrate, though, even though it has these great immune boosting properties and it's a, a little bit heavier of a protein, so it sits in your stomach longer, a lot of people have a problem with lactose. Lactose intolerance. I mean, we're all lactose intolerant, but to what degree? Some people will really mess with their stomachs and have to go to the bathroom right away. So, unfortunately for you, it had the concentrate has a high amount of lactose in it. So, for those of you that are you know, lactose intolerant very badly, you might want to skip straight past the concentrate. Not a good idea. All right, now we'll move on to the isolate. This is pretty common now, and uh, I enjoy this protein simply because of how much protein it has by weight, and there's a lot of other good qualities it has behind it, but protein by weight with the isolate is up to, or 90% at least, 90% by weight. So that means that in a 10 gram scoop of protein, uh, nine grams at least is gonna be protein on that scoop. That's great for if someone who wants to come right after a workout and take it and go protein right to your system and only protein because obviously it's good for our muscles. Our absorption rate, as I was just talking about, our absorption rate, you wanna take it right after a workout because it's actually a pretty quick absorption rate. So fast, definitely faster than this. Concentrate over here. Now let's talk about the subfractions. The subfractions, depending on how the isolate protein is actually broken down and purified, the subfractions may be taken out. The lactoferrin may be taken out, so you might be losing some immune boosting qualities. May a bunch of immune boosting qualities 
What is nice though, because of this simple fact that it drops some uh, or it drops some of the subfractions, you actually have less lactose in here. So people that are lactose intolerant have a lot better pro better way of taking the isolate protein than the concentrate because they your bodies can actually handle it, can actually process this kind of protein. So smaller amount. of lactose. Now, hydrolyze. What is hydrolyzed protein? Now, actually, before I, I'll get to this in a minute, and this is basically the uh, purification process of how the isolate protein is actually broken down and what they can use and how they can kind of um, not denature the protein, because that's what a lot of people are worried about when we're going through these processes. What's the most amount of protein? Am I going to denature it by doing this, that, and other things? So we're kind of going through that right now as we speak. The absorption rate is by far the fastest here with the hydrolyzed protein. Now, this is the most purified process. So now you've taken out all subfractions. So all subfractions taken out. And uh, basically, so we're sitting here talking about, okay, so which one should I use, Ronnie? And I, I know I didn't go over the hydrolyzed one a lot because it's, it's very broken down, it's very fast process, it's very hard on the body. The thing is, is that for stage one, for those who can get an 80% by weight protein, and actually, you know, because that's what we're looking for, you can get 80% by weight, that's actually not bad, that's eight grams out of a 10 gram scoop of protein. And then it still has all that, all the subfractions that are actually help boost your immunity, boost different qualities in your body, different vitamins and minerals in that protein. So it's actually a quality protein to take. The thing is that a lot of people can't handle it. So if you don't, if you don't have an issue with lactose, and you need something to sustain you throughout the day because you're working constantly and after your workout in the morning you might not be able to get a lot after that and you don't really take vitamins and things like that this the concentrate can really help you out now as far as the isolate i use i use this personally and i like this for the simple fact that one 90 percent protein by weight boom i mean that is that is awesome right there you want to have that much protein going into your system second it's because it's fast so I like to take it right after my workout. It goes straight to the bloodstream. I feel it digest easily because it's not as thick of a protein and just goes through the system nice and easy. And it, it makes me feel like uh, my muscles are getting that quality protein that they need even if I'm not hungry directly after a workout. And not that I have a big problem with lactose, but it can bother my stomach sometimes. So it's great to have this protein with some of the subfractions taken out. Now, if we're here to talk about hydrolyzed, Hydrolyzed protein is good for anybody with a lot of allergies, right? Because it's taking literally all the subfractions out. So if you have any dumb food allergies or drink allergies or stuff like that, that are, are consistent with you not being able to take protein, I mean, of course there's vegetable or type protein, plant-based protein, things like that you can go into. But if you're still looking for a whey protein because you enjoy it, well, hydrolyzed is the way to go. Not that it tastes good though, because it tastes pretty bad. So. Um, uh, anybody with allergies and a lot of the times since a lot of the subfractions are taken out even you know ba some baby formulas will have this stuff so it's it, it's pretty good now let's talk about ion exchange and cross flow microfiltration these things are literally talking about denaturing the protein because we're trying to keep as much protein by the way with the isolate and make sure that it can actually be process and used by our system. So first things first of all with the ion exchange it actually uses hydrochloride hydrochloride chloric acid blah, 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 couldn't get that out hydrochloric acid to break down and split the proteins apart. So splash split the proteins apart to break them down. And the thing is, is that our body actually does this itself, so we don't need to do it. And those chemicals, the hydrochloric acid, can actually denature the protein more. Now, cross-flow microfiltration actually uses very cold temperatures, cold temp, to break down and split that protein apart. 
And once that, that's doing, it's keeping the temperature low. A high temperature can go ahead and denature and break down that protein, and it's a better cross flow, or it's a better purification process leading up to being an isolate protein. Now, we're talking about denaturing the protein here. Don't worry too much about that. I know a lot of people are going, well, what, what protein should I take at home other than this? You know, Here's the thing. I know we've seen gains before. I know we've been in the gym before. If we have, and we have taken protein before, we have seen some of the building effects, some of the results. And if that's the case, even if you haven't taken a protein powder, you've seen some results. And that's because you've been eating protein. But if it denatured all the protein just by adding heat and taking some of it out, protein, the denatured proteins still have muscle building properties because if they didn't, everything you cook, all the steaks you cook, all the chicken you cook to get your lean meat wouldn't actually help you build muscle, right? So the denatured proteins, don't worry about that too much because our body's gonna break down the protein or the protein powder is gonna break down the protein for us before our body gets to break down the protein. Either way, the protein's gonna be denatured, but it does not take out the actual positive qualities the protein has. So don't worry about that too much. Find out what protein actually fits the goals you need, right? If your body can't handle lactose, concentrate's not for you, isolate's the way. I mean, any, that, that's my main recommendation is the isolate. Hydro, hydrolyzed, I wouldn't really do it too much unless you have that out, those allergies that, you know, I can't take in milk too much or I can't do this or I can't do that. You might want to stick to the hydrolyzed. Other than that, Isolate's your best bet and concentrate's a close second. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I know I'm going through some of this processing fast and I'm talking a little bit fast here. So if anybody has any questions on what I went over today, please don't hesitate to ask. I'd love to answer them. If anybody has any videos in the future that they wanna see based off protein, nutrition, fitness, whatever, I'm here to answer it. So please ask that as well. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do that now. My name is Ronnie Petito with Petito's Performance Training Center. Until next time.